science process skills, to test quantity of glycerin and soap bubbles. Before we start our experiment, we want to know the hypothesis is accepted or not. Hmm, what is the hypothesis? The more quantity of glycerin used, the longer the time taken for the soap bubbles to burst. Hmm. So, before we start our experiment, we need to know the apparatus and materials needed. We need 200 ml of water, 50 ml of dishwashing liquid, glycerin, plastic spoon, and a straw to blow the soap bubbles. So, what are we waiting for? Let's start our experiment to investigate quantity of glycerin and soap bubbles. First, we need to prepare a soap solution. Pour water into the plastic container. Then, we need to put the dishwashing liquid into the water. Add 1 tablespoon of glycerin into the soap solution. Then, stay well without producing any bubbles. Stir the solutions carefully. Make sure stay well the solution. And be careful! Now, we can just repeat the steps just now by adding 2 tablespoons of glycerin and followed by 3 tablespoons of glycerin. Now, our solution of soap and glycerin is done. There are 1 tablespoon, 2 tablespoon, and 3 tablespoons of glycerin used in this experiment. Now, we can leave the solution for 4 hours. Four hours later. Now, we're gonna start our experiment by using one tablespoon of glycerin. Blow the soap bubbles and set the stopwatch. We need to see the time taken for the soap bubble to burst. Pop! Look, the soap bubble burst. Next, we use 2 tablespoons of glycerin. Then, set the stopwatch. We need to look carefully. The time keep moving and the bubble still strong. Bam! Finally, the bubble burst. Next, we use 3 tablespoons of glycerin. Set the stopwatch. Look at the bubble. One minute had passed, but the bubble still not burst. Then, stop the stopwatch 
and record the time taken. Now, this is the data that is obtained from the experiment that we had carried just now. From the table shown, we can find out the manipulative variable, which is the quantity of glycerin. I change the quantity of glycerin. Then, the responding variable is the time taken for the soap bubble to burst, which is the result from the experiment. The constant variable is the type of dishwashing liquid. I use the same brand of this dishwashing liquid. Now, based on the quantity of glycerin used in this experiment, we can know that 3 tablespoons of glycerin are needed to produce a soap bubble that can burst the lettuce. So, the time taken for the soap bubble to burst is 107 second that is the longest time for this experiment so from the data obtained we can make a conclusion which is the more the quantity of the glycerin the longer the time taken for the soap bubble to burst so the hypothesis is accepted jadi kita telah mendapat jawapan bahawa gliserin mampu menjadikan buih sabun tahan lebih lama. Apa tunggu lagi? Selamat mencuba! Kalau nak tengok lebih banyak video yang menarik tentang sains, jangan lupa like dan subscribe Izajo. Thanks for watching!